Hello, thank you for joining me for this latest video. This past weekend, we celebrated the Feast of the Corpus Christi, a great feast in the church, and really the last major feast before we come to the end of our liturgical year when we celebrate Christ the King. Let us speak about Corpus Christi. One of the greatest things about the Eucharist is that it's a living sacrifice, a gift from God. The real presence, the true real presence, Jesus' body and blood. I urge you to research Eucharistic miracles. You could check that by going to Google or Bing and going ahead and typing it in and find more about the greatness and the life of Christ being alive in the Holy Eucharist. I'm going to talk about one specifically, but there's always a couple that I always like to mention. First, the miracle in Lanciano in the 7th century. It happened actually in the 8th century in the 700s. It occurred in Lanciano, Italy, where a host that was in the monstrance started to change in complexity. And after years, many years of study, even by NASA scientists, it always came back that it was the real presence. Truly, a human was there. The macrocardia of the heart, AB blood, it was found in the venous nerve. All of this was present. It is alive. It's real. And this is what you and me receive each and every week. We also have the miracle at Orvieto, Italy. A beautiful cathedral holds the corporal right there where the blood had fallen from the Holy Eucharist onto the corporal, this cloth that we have on the altar. And there you could still see it today. Again, tested time and time again, and it came to the reality that it was truly human and real blood. This third miracle that I'd like to talk about that I had mentioned at Mass this weekend was the miracle in 1345 outside of Krakow, Poland. Here we have a tabernacle. This is where our Lord is resting. This is where our Lord is present, but he is reposed here in a tabernacle that we'll find in any church. And very easy way to find the tabernacle is always look for the sanctuary candle. The sanctuary candle usually will be very close to where the tabernacle is. Well, again, in 1345, thieves broke into the tabernacle outside of Krakow. And they went ahead and took the monstrance, took the host. Well, priests and people from the village went ahead looking for this host and looking for the monstrance, but again, no success, no luck. Well, after fasting, after prayer, and even the bishop came a couple days later, they were investigating this light that was emanating from a marsh. And in that marsh was this light. And they were saying, what could it be? Well, after finding and looking in the marsh, they found our Lord Jesus in the Holy Eucharist found in the monstrance. They found those hosts, they found the monstrance, and that's where that light was emanating from. That wasn't something fictitious. Don't you think that somebody in all of these years would have said, that never happened? Don't you think the bishop or the priest would have said, never occurred? Or maybe the people that lived in the village said, oh, come on, that's not true. Everyone to this day said it is true. So again, another Eucharistic miracle. So never doubt the real presence. Never doubt that truly Jesus is present. He's present here in the tabernacle. He's present when we have him in adoration. We have him present when we receive him, when we come up for communion. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our Lord Jesus is with you. Trust and believe in him. Speak to him and know of his love all the time. Our Lord Jesus comes to us in the Holy Eucharist, and I invite you, the faithful, to go to him and go to him in a very loving way, receiving him and doing as Christ has asked of us, to follow his commandments, love him, his Father, and the Holy Spirit, and love one another. May God bless you on your day, and thank you for joining me.